Young people are being confronted by uninformed, disinformed, illiterate, and often innumerate protest leaders urging young people to march for causes they don't understand based on arguments that can't be proven and trading on fear, which is destructive. I've argued for some time about the crisis in Western political leadership. We have leaders in the Western world giving international exposure to the uninformed, the disinformed utterances of people like the teenager Greta Thunberg. She calls herself an environmental activist. She started at 15 raving, and that's the appropriate word about climate change mitigation. She's never been challenged on the rubbish she utters, but the publicity she received has led young people to believe her and paroxysms of fear and hopelessness overwhelm these young people because no political leader stands their ground to dismantle this emotional, ill-informed rubbish. When these parents complained to me last week about their speech day experience, I privately called Thunberg in 2019, can you believe it? Addressing the United Nations in sickeningly emotional nonsense. She was 16, but political leaders gave this stuff a forum. I must say Donald Trump just walked straight past. A forum in which it was belched out to the rest of the world unchallenged. Following Thunberg's United Nations outburst, I delivered a response on television. It went viral and worldwide on social media. Speech day alarmists should take note. I said way back then that young people are privately terrified and wonder where they belong. The system's broken, badly broken. And only by admitting that can we seek solutions. So principles, here's one solution, which I talked about the last time I raised this. Stop preaching alarmism and teach our children that if our young people looked at the facts rather than the propaganda that they're fed, they would learn that a child born today will have more opportunities and enjoy a safer future than at any time in human history. That child in the classroom, I've said all this before, will be blessed with a longer life expectancy than at any time in history. That child in the classroom is entering a world where poverty, health and freedom are at an infinitely better level than at any time in human history. That child will find the availability of food better than at any time in human history. That child will be safer from extreme weather than from ever before in human history. Last year, deaths from extreme weather were the lowest ever recorded. That child will enter a world where he or she will enjoy more leisure time than at any time in human history. And a greater slice of their life is available to enjoy things like music and the arts due to improved nutrition and living standards. That child in the classroom is unlikely to ever have to take up arms in defence of a nation, never have to climb out of a trench, never have to storm a beach under machine gun fire. Surely it's time to give these children a diet of positivity and hope rather than alarmism, despair and rubbish and principles. Stop being agents of despair and alarmism via the rubbish that's being trotted out at speech day graduations. Those who condone this alarmist nonsense under the guise of education are tragically destroying young people. Banish the Greta Thunbergs. The adults of today are the fear mongers. Our children are the victims. Greta Thunberg is not saving anything, let alone a planet. But she and those who condone her alarmist nonsense are tragically destroying young people's lives. Principles, try a dose of hope and opportunity. It tends to go down well.